my name is Brian. Uh, I'm a senior this year at the UW and I am a public health major. Originally I was born down uh, in, in Mexico. When I was nine my family moved to the US and specifically Seattle because my dad was hoping to get a job here and uh, it was not possible for him to do that. So he had to start uh, doing construction work. Every time I think about it, all, all the things that my dad has done, that's it's like those things that get to me. So it's, it's hard to talk about that because um, I don't know, it's just hard. It's, uh, it's really hard. I think uh, for anybody who uh, moves from one place to another uh, for the better of their family. It's, uh, it's humbling, it's, it's, uh, it's, it inspires anybody. Being the first one in my family to go to college, at least here in the U.S., feels like it's, it's the best way to pay back my dad for everything that he's done. My name is Jane Puzu. Um, I am a fifth year graduate student in the doctoral program in the Environmental and Occupational Health Sciences Department. So that is a huge mouthful. I have been really fortunate to work on a study that allows for us to go out and do some field research. So that for us meant going to central Washington to work in the tree fruit orchards that are pretty prolific in that part of the state. Getting a PhD requires that you kind of create your own project and come up with something really long-term that contributes something new. So the idea of my project is to look at the health risks of, of many different kinds of pesticides that might be used in the same scenario and to find a way to look at those very different health impacts along the same scale. And it's difficult to find a good way to do that right now. Um, quantifying risks and benefits for very different things is, is very tricky to do. It's, it's comparing apples to oranges, so to speak. I hope to show that we can not only say, well, we found an acceptable level of risk and we're under that, um, but that we can keep minimizing and keep pushing the levels of risk that people experience in the workplace lower and lower, and also find win-win uh, technologies and win-win chemicals that are both effective and economical and safe for the people who have to use them. There's an amazing range of experiences that students can have going out into the field, working with these vulnerable communities, but we can't get the kind of funding we need from the traditional sources because they don't fund those kinds of activities. And so finding private philanthropy will be very important so that we do train this next generation of leaders who can help us face the challenges we know are coming. I see my degree of public health here at the University of Washington as um, like a small step towards, as a big step actually, <laughs> uh, towards seeing the changes that I want to see. Um, I always talk about how I saw all of my friends, uh, they have to get their insulin shots and you know it was just part of reality or whenever one of my friends went to jail it was part of reality, that's how life goes. And Public health here at the University of Washington, you know, changed that mentality and started to guide me in the direction that I need to do, like that I need to go to start fixing that. So that's why eventually I see myself getting a, getting my MD and getting an MPH so I can have more of an impact on my community. I would like to say to the donors, uh, thank you, thank you a hundred times over. Um, and it's wonderful that you chose to support our department and the field of work that we do. Um, so often the work that we do is a little bit invisible. It's kind of the nature of public health that if you do it well, no one will know. So it's so appreciated that you took time and resources out of your own life to think about giving to our department. To the donors that uh, helped for the scholarship, um, I would say thank you and um, I would say uh, keep donating um, just because the more money we can get, the more money that um, can be used to help others in maybe similar situations as me or maybe even worse situations as me. It's just another way to, that we can all help each other out. He's always helping people, so if these guys can help him, help him <laughs> because he's helping everybody too. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking to it. <laughs>